I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, so what I'm gonna start doing is every video we drop, I'm gonna taste a chicken sandwich from every possible place I can find in the state of New York. Eventually, I'll, I'll broaden my horizon. But today, we're rocking Shake Shack. Shake Shack is known for making burgers. I think they make hot dogs, and I'm pretty sure they make milkshakes. I've only been to two Shake Shacks in my life. But today, we're gonna do the Shake Shack chicken sandwich. First, first thoughts. Okay, it comes in paper, so that's good. That means quality. If it's wrapped in paper, it means it's quality. Okay. Okay, the smell is good. The smell is good. The, the fry, the chicken fry, it looks like a square piece, so it looks like it's it's nice. The lettuce is shredded, so it's like some shredded lettuce. It's not like a piece of like iceberg lettuce you put on. It's like thick and crunchy. It doesn't taste good. Okay. The bun looks like it is buttered, so the bun is buttered and toasted. So see how the bun has a little bit of toast, that's good. It's got some pickles on there. All right, let's just shut up and just take a bite. Okay, okay, there's some white, there's some white sauce on it. I don't know what that is. First bite. One bite, everybody knows the rules. That's soft, it's got some softness to it. It's not dry, it's actually the chicken is very moist. That whatever that white sauce is, I feel like it adds like some tanginess to it. It's mayo. It's mayo? It's, it's got like green stuff in the mayo. It's mayo. What is that? It's whatever it is, mayo. it looks good. The pickles add some texture. I'm a big pickle guy, I love pickles. I give this, this is like a 7 8. A 7 8. This would be seven, something eight. that you could like eat. My only complaint right now is the bun. This looks like a generic, like, stop and shop, like, kind of like dad's making burgers outside in the back and the buns are a little bit cold. But it does look good. It should, it's got that, like, cheap bun look. But 7 8, that's it. Mark it down. Now I'm going to eat for the rest of it. I don't like this thing at all. This is actually, I'm on level six. I haven't done a Stairmaster in probably three years, which is 2021, probably since 2018. That was the last time I did a Stairmaster. But, wait, I didn't want to do that. We have two of them. Right now we only have one right here. But the truck delivery guy brought the other day we only brought one, so got to make sure we get two. But <clears throat> this whole week has kind of been like super wacky. The video that you guys just watched, the edit that we just did was Monday, right? Yeah. That was Monday. It's now Friday. All week, I've just been like, keep telling myself, not tomorrow. Later, today, uh, I'll vlog tomorrow. Super hectic. Um, but it's gonna be like a slow vlog. We're gonna do another edit of the workout. Really nothing new here, right? The only thing I can't that new is we opened up the recovery lounge with all the Normatec boots and recovery boots. Uh, the PTs are in there right now. They're working with clients, so. Other than that, I guess let's just crush this workout. I am on a time crunch. 20 minutes till you have your meeting and 40 minutes until I have to go. So, we got 30 minutes. Average about 30 minutes to crush this workout, so let's go. Remember when you told me you believe in something and you said you're done pretending that fate is patient. Go run away, get it out of your system. Come back when you're 
older Go find a place where you can't be the victim And come back when you're older Go catch the storm within your broken bones And be wild, wild, wild Wild, wild, wild Perfect! What are we doing now? Alright, we, we just finished up overhead press and my overhead press is still absolutely atrocious. I've been probably implementing an overhead press for the last like 12 weeks now, and I feel like it's not gotten any better. Like I said, like a couple video, like a couple, like probably two months ago, I said like when I was in college, we never really did anything overhead press. That was like one of the big things. Nothing overhead press. I actually like the movement. I feel like the other, or I feel like last on Monday in the video that you guys just watched where we're doing like the standing kind of like hybrid uh, Arnold press. I actually really liked it. You liked it. Yeah. I liked it. I've never done an Arnold press. So that was like the first time I've ever done it. But now we got a couple back accessories. And we have single arm lat pull down. Really trying to engage that lat. And I have my phone in my pocket that I Almost just cracked, so. And I have to load the weight, the weight's too Oh, I said hyper ice. So basically the last like two weeks, or last, actually I said fuck that, the last two days, we've been like trying to post more reels on the Iron Vault Instagram. Um, I don't know, I heard like the word on the street is the only way to get like exposure or traffic. Like they changed the whole algorithm. So now the algorithm is like reels, likes, it's not likes anymore, it's reels, shares, and saves. So every time you guys see a post on the IG, you have to save it, you have to share it, and you have to watch all our reels. Today we posted this recovery lounge reel about all the recovery boots. And the recovery lounge is located at the other side of the gym. So anyone, anytime you need like PT or you need to get like some type of compression therapy, just hit us up, DM us on Iron Vault, shoot us an email, give us a call, whatever you guys do. We wanna make sure everyone here can get recovered and stay ready for the next day and uh, everyone's staying healthy. That's really the goal is I want people that come here to you know, be able to optimize this place the best way. Recover, train harder. That's pretty much it, everyone wins. So hit us up, total, total package facility. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this, this week's video. You guys notice, I'm in a Tesla, my white truck, my white Gladiator is getting worked on right now, getting some oil changed. This video might be a little bit shorter than usual, um, like I said before, this whole week has just been like super hectic. I feel like I said that every video, but I am trying to vlog and I am trying to tell a story every time I do these videos. But if you guys are new to the channel, click that subscribe button, leave it a thumbs up, and comment down below, what is your favorite flavor ice cream? Personally, my favorite flavor is pistachio. Super weird, I know. Who likes pistachio ice cream? My, 
my grandfather likes pistachio ice cream. Maybe I'm your grandfather. You're all my grandchildren. Comment down below if you guys are new. So click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.